Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We're here taking on Steven, the Elite Four Champion. He is the champion of Hoenn and we're at his last Pokemon, the Mighty Metagross. A Pokemon which is so awesome. It has great attack, great, well pretty good special attack. Very good defenses, pretty poor speed, and I try to use Flash on Shedinja now uh, on Metagross with Shedinja. However, as I said in the last episode, not a good idea because of its ability, Clear Body. So I can't Clear Body will stop Metagross from losing any any stat whatsoever. You can't lower its accuracy, you can't lower its attack or anything. But the one thing that I do know about this episode is I want Ludicolo to finish it. So I'm going to try my damnedest to finish this with Ludicolo, even if I have to burn for all my revival. I use Surf and it doesn't do that much damage and then we get hit by Hyper Beam, a very powerful normal type move. It will need to recharge after use, however it kills me. Lady Carlo, Lady Lady Carlo is dead, oh dear. But what we do know about the situation is that Shedinja cannot be attacked by Metagross. Why? Because we found out in the last episode when we brought uh, Shedinja in early, um, Steven switched Metagross out, which is a sign that you can't hit Shedinja. So what I'm doing here is I'm just spending some time healing up Ludicolo because I'm serious guys. If it takes me the whole damn episode to get Metagross dead using Ludicolo, then so be it. <laughs> and I will do my best to make it entertaining. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to use, uh, it uses Meteor Match, which is a very strong steel type move. 100 base, has a 20% chance to raise its attack power. Now all I'm doing here is I'm using uh, Shadow Ball, which is a stab move, which is great because it's neutral on Metagross, being a part psychic type. However, it's still not taking that much damage. So Shedinja is my only way to help Ludicolo win this battle. And I really need Ludicolo to win this battle. It is the only way I would be happy with this LP. If Ludicolo did not end this LP, if Ludicolo could not kill Metagross right now, I, I, the LP would just be a waste of time. All 40... Three, four, can't quite remember, all 40 odd episodes of it. But it uses full restore, Steven uses full restore, and again, I'm pulling my hair out. Not because I'm struggling, but because I just, I want Ludicolo to take the victory. So I thought to myself, come on Ludicolo, get your jukes up. And she does, she hits him with a, a surf, and that's pretty good. She gets hit by Psychic, it's a stab type move, we're not too worried about that. Another surf, a right jab, right into the face, right where the cross is. But we get hit by another Psychic, and now it's tense. Who will die first? Oh, I really hope it's not Lady Curlo. Come on, Metagross, die for us, dude. And it has a, like one HP left, and I am aware that my commentary is going off the rails here, but it just has one HP left, and I'm not happy about that. Oh, God, and I really want to burp, but I'm just too excited, and I can't let Shedinja kill. I really can't. I need Lady Curlo to finish this. It's been three minutes. We're facing one Pokemon and it uses full restore. Oh, and my, my head is in my hands at this point because we've got to do the whole dance again. So, here we are. We've revived Lady Curlo. We're going to use the Hyper Potion that will revive Bloody Colo to full health, which is awesome. And it's just gonna use Earthquake, and Earthquake can't hit it, neither can Psychic, neither can Meteor Mash. What was the other attack? I'm not quite sure, I can't quite remember. But none of Metagross's attacks can hit Shedinja, so Shedinja will happily Shadow Ball along. Now, many people don't get Shedinja, many people just think Shedinja is rubbish. Look how awesome he has done! He has four switches, well it has four switches, and it's taken out Pokemon. It's done good damage to very good Pokemon. So believe me, use your Shedinjas! Use them wisely, it's an intelligent person's Pokemon. Only an intelligent person can really use Shedinja to its full potential. However, Metagross is on the ropes and Ludicolo is ready for round three, or four, or however many, however many times it is. It uses Meteor Mash and Ludicolo will resist the Meteor Mash all day with any luck. It is all good, not very effective. It does get an attack boost, 20%, as I said before. However, it should not need it. Bloody Carlo gets the surf. And look at that health bar drop. Woo! Oh, thank God for that. Shedinja, you did great, buddy. You all did great, but hey, Steven, I, the champion, have fallen in defeat. Kudos to you, Dan. You are truly noble Pokemon trainer. Indeed I am. Give me all your money, you old man. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy right now. 
believe me, that was one of the toughest Elite Four runs I've ever done in my life. And as we listen to Steven with all of his nice drivel, we see May. What up, May? Dan, here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Uh, oh, May, um, I, I've just beat him. I, 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 what, what, what? I've beaten him. Could it be? It's, yeah, it's already over. Sorry, love. <laughs> hey, Birch, how's the khaki shorts going on? What did I tell you, May? Yeah, you didn't need to worry about me, May. Listen to your father. He's a wise man. But yes, I have finally done it. I defeated my father at Petalburg Gym, and now I am the overlord and ruler of Hoenn. I, I mean, Pokemon champion of Hoenn. Yeah, he, he checks your Pokedex, and I'm like, this is not the time. You should be carrying me on your shoulders as a victorious champion. But hey... I don't mind. I am the new champion. And yes, we get to go and then Steven's like, May, no, losers like you, not allowed in this special room. Get the hell out. Groan. Dot, dot, dot. Dots of disappointment. I'm so unhappy. Why am I so bad as a Pokemon trainer? May is thinking to herself. But look at this shiny room. And this shiny room should have something epic in it, like a big old statue or fire, but no. It actually has a small computer. Well, not small, five small computers. That's all it has. But what this will do is it will it will record our team into the Hall of Fame. I am a Hall of Fame person now. Yes, it's saving. I will not turn the power off even though I'm playing it on a laptop. <laughs> but here we are, our champions explode. Lady Carlo, the Lady Lady Carlo is awesome. Shedinja, you did well, buddy. Nice battling. Harry Armour, great stuff, lady. Cool Swellow, you did awesome. And so did you, Swampert. What an amazing team. What a beautiful team I have created there. Absolutely awesome. Not the quickest team in the world, but it didn't need to be. And there I am. Little Dan, you've done well for me, buddy. 13 hours it took us, but we have done brilliantly. And guys, that is it. That is officially the end of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. And what a ride it's been. This has been my favourite Pokemon Let's Play, simply because I feel I've done such a good job on it. I always like to talk about myself in these credit sequences because I don't really like it when uh, LPs talk about themselves whilst the game is playing, but I don't mind it when they do it when in the credits. And as far as I'm concerned, this has been one of my best Let's Plays. I think it has anyway. I, again, feel free to let me know. I felt I'd been funny. I felt I'd been enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic about this game. It's a beautiful game. It's really good, well made, solid. There's nothing extravagant about this game. There's no big add-ons onto it apart from the content contest hall but it's a solid Pokemon game. It, I think it's much better than the Silver Gold Crystal generation. And I think it's better than the first generation as well. So it's a very good game. And I think everyone should play it. Oh god. Um, as far as... I, I have made a couple of mistakes. Two mistakes which come to mind are... Um, what were they? Let me think. Oh yeah, I said Shadow Ball was on the first generation when it was on the second generation. So again, drop the ball there. I made another one as well. What was the other one about? Um, oh god, I'm trying to remember. I should have wrote this stuff down. I made two mistakes that I tried to remember. It was about Shadow Ball, saying it was from the first generation. And the other one was about, ah yes, Cast Form. I said that Cast Form had a rock type uh, transformation. Because if you remember, its ability will allow it to transform into different kinds of, um, you know, weather type Pokemon. But it, it doesn't transform into a rock type Pokemon in Sandstorm. And... Again, I've got to remind you all that I do all of my Let's Plays, even my non-Pokemon Let's Plays, from memory. And I know I should write stuff down, however, I feel everything in a Let's Play should be more natural. You know, things like, you know, your commentary should be natural, your jokes should be natural, it should just come out of nowhere. So I do everything by memory, and the fact that I've only done two mistakes, probably three, I've not looked over all my videos, but the fact that I've only done a few mistakes in this Let's Play, I think I've done pretty well, guys. Again, feel free to criticise if you want. To be honest, I feel I've done well, so I probably won't listen to your criticism. Because <laughs> that's the kind of guy I am. I always make mistakes in my Let's Plays, but I feel I do a lot of good work. So I hope you can appreciate that. And I hope you can appreciate that I've done this game, because it's such a super long game. And I've really, you know, been tearing my hair out. It's been a tough year for me. I've had a cold recently as well. So finishing this Let's Play has been my only priority and it's been tough to do. But we've got there, guys. You and me, we've got there. But as we uh, see the All Rights Reserved screen, 
It's officially the end. I do... The, the thing that I've not shown you is... The Legends. I've not shown you the Legendary Pokemon, and I do have a bonus episode set up. Because all the Legends in this game actually have... Uh, they're actually a pain in the ass to get because you actually have to do something pretty special to get them. So I'm going to be doing it in, uh, doing them in another episode. However, don't expect that for a long time. I want to heal up first. <laughs> but anyway, oh, Norman's here. The fear the mighty Norman. Whirr. Hmm. Hey, it's Dan. Indeed, I am your son. <laughs> I am stronger. Yes, I am. I am amazing. Now I just want to show you two things which get unlocked after. Um, after you've done the Elite Four for the first time. And the first thing is the SS Ticket. The SS Ticket will allow you to get onto um, a boat, and the boat will take you to Battle Tower. I'll show you that in a second. However, the first thing I want to show you is this television. Um, yeah, get back to Petalburg, Norman. You've got to bring the money in, because we need the money to survive. I want to show you this television. And this television will talk about a special news bulletin about a red flying Pokemon. If you're playing Ruby, it will be a blue flying Pokemon. And these relate to Latias and Latios, which which are the two Psychic and Dragon type Pokemon. Both legendary and they are both roaming. Now, Latias is the uh, red one that we're supposed to catch and it's, it's flying around now in the world. We don't know where it is, we have, have to actually go and find it. And that's a pain in the ass because if you watch my Pokemon Let's Play, uh, my Pokemon Silver Let's Play, you will know I detest roaming Pokemon. However, it's not too bad in this one. It's not as hard, it's logical, but it's still such a pain in the ass. Again, I will show you Latias in the uh, bonus episode, the Pokemon, you know, legendary, I'll call it the legendary Pokemon bonus episode, you know. But the second thing that you unlock is the Battle Tower. Now, fans of Pokemon Emerald may know of the Battle Frontier. The Battle Frontier is um, pretty much an expanded Battle Tower. Battle Tower is basically you'll just take on random Pokemon trainers. That's all you will do, and you'll face them in, uh, in you know, in uh, streaks of seven. So you'll take on seven trainers at a time, and you can get, you know, some nice stuff. You can get some rewards from taking out all seven, and you try and get a bit of a, a streak going on. I think my best is something like 77 or something. Now, I, not on this game, on my actual um, cartridge game, because uh, I don't think it saves on here. Something about corrupted memory or something. But uh, Pokemon Emerald fans will have the Battle Frontier, which is much bigger. It has a Battle Tower in it, I think, but it also has other areas as well. I've not played uh, Battle Frontier, so I'm just going off what I know from memory. But here it is, guys. There it is. After 13 hours, we've defeated the Hall of Fame. We've entered the Hall of Fame. We have our team. We have all the badges. We can't actually check the Hall of Fame because the data is corrupt, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. Call Bill Gates. We need your help to fix the Hall of Fame website. However, that is it. That is all I can offer you from Pokemon Sapphire. I will be doing the legendary uh, Pokemon episode, stay tuned for that if you're interested, however if you're not interested then this is the end of the line for you. We must now part ways because this is the end of the Let's Play, however, feel free to stay uh, close to my channel for more Pokemon Let's Plays because Pokemon Diamond should be coming up pretty soon with any luck, however, that's all I got. So till next time guys, I've been Upstart DJ, saying... Sayonara for now.